It's the annual Taste of Metro South. It's here back at the Shaw Center. And I'm trying, man. I'm trying to get fired up. It's our favorite event of the year. But you know what? We need to do something, something new. I need to get charged up. You know, I love Christos to go. We have Leandro's. We have JJ's Cafe. I think I can. I think I can. Terrence, throw me that microphone, baby. All right, let's go. It's the 2018 Test of Metro South. We're here back at the Shaw Center. We're home. And I'm fired up. Along with you, the next half hour, we are going to dazzle you with food, with fun, with drinks, with entertainment, and with some surprises. So I want you to sit back. <sighs> yeah, I want you to relax. <sighs> and I want you to see what the 2018 Taste of Metro South has to offer. <laughs> All right, we get Rob Peters babbling in the background, but we have the taste of Metro South has begun. We're going to go to Mad Dog Matt Nelson in the back and see what kind of activity we have in the back of the line. He's all fired up. Mad Dog, Mad Dog, what's going on back there? I never get to have fun at these things. You know what? Some of us know the secrets. Some of us do. There's not going to be any food when I get in there if I wait at the very back of this line. This. Are you ready for tonight? So much food. So much food. So much food. So many where, options. Where are you going first? I don't know. Mom always told me to eat my veggies before dessert. This, there might be some some cannolis before before the roasted veggies. When's the last time you ate? It's been it's been like a week. Lies. 20 minutes ago. The shades are on. The sun is still out. The sun shines on the Shaw Center. And we are going to a new vendor tonight. Athena International Foods is here. And they have a medley of Mediterranean cuisine. I'm going under, up, and over. Let's go. <laughs> Watch out for her cakes. Don't knock them down, whatever you do. And who are you, my young lady? I, my name is Samita Gianaris, and I own Athena International Foods in Brockton. And to my left? I'm Chris Romaine, and I work for her. Outstanding. And look at this medley of food. This is fantastic. This is the best spread I've seen all night. Tell us about a few key things that really stand out for Athena International Foods. You can pick anything. Okay, well, the tabbouleh and the hummus and the baba there, these are all homemade. This is our top selling cheese, which everybody buys. No matter what nationality you are, everybody loves it. What type of cheese? It's a table cheese. It's a... Um, it's like that a doesn't cheddar. sound very good. It's a Greek cheddar, but it is the best cheddar you will ever have. Ever? Ever. ever. Let's taste. Uh, what do I grab here? What do I... Oh, I can grab anything? Oh, wait. You don't want to put my hand in there. Right. I can use my hand. Oh. Two forks. Two forks, people. That is Mediterranean cheese all the way. Okay, and then you have to try the feta that's made from sheep and goat's milk, not cow's milk. It comes from Greece. It comes from Greece. Now, I bet you already knew this, but my mother's maiden name is Antonakis, and her family came from Greece. I figured. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> of course. Of course. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you look Greek. You look like you're right from, right from the Isle Isle of Lesbos. Okay, feta. Goat and... Sheep. Goat and sheep. Bah! Mmm. 
That's so smooth. What is it with the Mediterranean diet? Now, I have relatives that live forever. They're Greek. They live forever, but they insist that it's the diet that they, that they have. It's a lot of vegetables, a lot of pasta, vegetables, the cheeses. It's, all, it's not too much meat. Now, you mentioned the tabbouleh, and uh, did you mention baba ganoush? I have baba ganoush, and I have hummus. All right, can you say baba ganoush three times? Baba ganoush, baba ganoush, baba ganoush. No wonder you hired her. <laughs> All right, let's try the tabbouleh, for those that aren't familiar with the uh, tabbouleh. Okay, it's uh, parsley, bulgur, onions, tomato, spices, and oil, lemon juice. It's really, it, the Mediterranean food is very simple, but it's, it's so fresh and tasty. It's not that simple. It's a lot of work. <laughs> You're right. It's not that simple because anything that good can't be simple. What's your favorite? I would have to say the grape leaves. I love grape leaves. I was hoping somebody would say the grape leaves, and therefore I shall try. All right, now the pressure's on. This is it for Athena. Now come closer together. This is it for Athena. This is the ultimate test because just a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks past, we had Greek Easter and we celebrated and there was a contest of grape leaves going back and forth. And uh, my aunt won and let's see if Athena beats them all. If they do, I have to tell my mother. Well, we have many varieties. This is only one of them. And which one's this? This is the meatless one. That's, we all, we, we go meatless. We don't put any meat in our grape leaves. <laughs> Would that be a sin, go putting meat in the grape leaves? In my opinion, yes, it would be a sin. Good? Bad? Not bad. Not good. Great! Now, back over to the Mad Dog. And for all our viewers out there, please carry a napkin. Mad Dog. Mad Dog? Apparently it's Cheeto mac and cheese. I've never heard of it before, but it's crushed with spicy Cheetos and thick. I don't know what kind of cheese it is, but it looks good. As a member of the mayor's office, what do you think about the state of food in the city of Brockton? It's in a good state. Brockton has the best food ever. Do you know who my favorite monster in the whole world is? Cookie Monster. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Nom, 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 nom. We have Cookie Face. Do not get help from the audience. Okay. Consent? Rob Peters, Rob Peters Entertainment. Go. And we have. Oh, you look at this guy. guy. He's pushing the other guy. I can't believe it. The well, guy in the red shirt. Stuff. He's got it down. Oh, look it's at him. They're twitching. Face. They're working it. Look at they this guy. He's a Wiley veteran. He's a Wiley veteran. The man in red. He tells me Bill's done this before. Look at Phil. Oh! Now hang on. He's got to get it into his mouth with. He's got to get it into his mouth. Oh, he's so close. Oh my gosh, he's so close. He's so close. He can taste it. Oh, he's touching it. He's touching it with his tongue. Oh, he got it! Applause, everybody. Courtney, congratulations. Wow, that was awesome. Dude, dude, right. how do you feel? Is this the greatest moment of your life? I feel great. I've been training every day for this. Ever since I was born, I knew I was supposed to do this. Come on, are you trying to sneak, sneak, sneak a few on me? Come on. No, I'm not kidding you. I'm 318. Come on, brother. 325? I'm not lying. I'm, not lying. I'm 318. Where's the scale? We're at a hot table. A lot of people have been coming by here. Uh, please stop by introducing yourselves and tell us where you're from. I'm Peter McConnell. I'm the executive director of Heights Crossing Assisted Living. Now, we know Heights Crossing from the Summer Concert Series. That's right. And uh, we have a beautiful presentation tonight. What, what do we have? We do. We have some very talented chefs here who have done all this fruit artwork. And tonight they're presenting a salmon fish taco with a pomegranate creme and pickled veg. Looks like, looks like it takes some time. Yeah, it did. It did. It's a hard work, but we did it. What do you like about this, what do you like about this, uh, this meal right here? All the flavors come together and it makes one harmonious piece. All right, the first person to guess why I came to this table and it's on me gets a high five. You got salmon uh, fish. You got fish. <laughs> what is it? What's the tie? Fish tie. Yeah, you're, 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 you're. Fish. 
taco. Oh, we got a winner, fish taco. It is a taco. It is a taco. So Heights Crossing, everybody thinks, okay, the food must be okay, you know, it must be pretty good, but this, you have excellent chefs here. Yeah, we, um, we try to do restaurant style cooking, so we don't do batch cooking, we cook to order. So just like a restaurant, the order will come in and the guys will prepare it to order. So that's much different than most assisted livings. All right, Matt, what do you have cooking? And at the 2018 right, Taste of Metro South. Thanks, Jay. Now we are here. The highlight of any Taste of Metro South event. Last year it was salmon. This year it's something green and in pancake form. What do we have here? So today we have the matcha green tea pancake. Uh, and it's topped with the mascarpone cheese, which, which is mixed with chambord. Uh, and then topped with strawberries and blueberries and apple cinnamon syrup. So it's a little bit healthier option than we normally have. What is your favorite item on the menu? Uh, really, It really depends on the mood. So if I'm in the mood for something that's savory and hearty, I'm going to go with the hash bomb and top it with a couple of eggs over easy. The hash bomb, uh, that's actually came about through a mistake from one of our employees trying to make some corned beef hash and ended up messing around. Uh, so it's uh, three deep fried corned beef uh, hash balls that are stuffed with our homemade hot sauce, which is called the Fogo Fire, um, some cheddar cheese, and it's topped with sausage gravy and a little bit of cheddar cheese on top. Uh, that's honestly one of our best sellers and that's what keep, keeps people coming back to the, to the restaurant. That sounds like the <laughs> perfect hangover food. Oh, oh he, he flipped it around on me. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, one bite. Everyone knows yeah, the rules. Go. What do you think? Oh my god. I'm not a big tea guy, but this is phenomenal. Yeah, and it's healthy too. So, it's good. Huh? Nice combination. That's, that's phenomenal. The texture is a lot different than I thought it was going to be. The Cheeto is kind of like noodle texture. Yeah, there's crumbles and then there's also like whole Cheetos. There's a whole, like there's a whole Cheeto right there. Nico, 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 right over the Brockton line in West Bridgewater. Nico's is the place to be. What's right. going on, brother? Not much. Just want to uh, thank you guys for having us here again. It's always good to be back serving a lot of locals, a lot of regulars, and some new faces in the area. So. Uh, you know, it's good to have us here and showcase what we do best and give you guys some great quality food. This spread looks sick. And what I mean by sick is the, the Massachusetts sick. Yeah. Unbelievable. Awesome. Tell Wicked us about awesome. it. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked pizza. So tonight we got a, a little mini chicken kebab dinner, which is with our famous rice pilaf, our village salad, which is a horia tiki salad, Greek salad with no lettuce. And then we uh, have our house made spinach pie. So, you know, give a little appetizer, a little mini chicken kebab dinner. So, figure why not? It looks fantastic. I ate my desserts early. Now I'm going in for the kill. Go I'm going ball. in for the entree. I can't wait to take a bite of this. And I'll take that. <laughs> Sorry, we got plenty more though. It's plenty more. Mad Dog. When it comes to food, Mad Dog always wins. No. It rolled over and died. Hold on, hold on. 
Grilling Easton on 138 because my favorite food of all time is mac and cheese, and my second favorite food of all time is steak. Tell us what you guys are doing to combo those tonight. So we have uh, roast sirloin with gorgonzola cheese sauce with balsamic drizzle and mac and cheese. So how do those pair? Um, well, the gorgonzola cream sauce and the balsamic is a kind of a different combination but you'd have to try it to, to really see. It's awesome. All right, well, we're gonna go in right now. This one looks like it's got the biggest piece of steak, so <laughs> we're going for this one. Gotta go, gotta go pasta first here. A lot of spices in that one. I call them the Simon and Garfunkel spices. Sage, rosemary, thyme. All right, now steak. That's a winner. When you think of summer, you think yeah. of a, a few things. Baseball, the Red Sox specifically, beating the Yankees. Sorry, Giancarlo. <laughs> And you think of sausages and hot dogs at the ballpark. Absolutely, with a nice cold beer. And nothing better than a sausage prepped and onion on a nice roll, sitting back, watching a ball game, enjoying the day. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if they ever come back, because it's fruit. Root, root for the Rocks. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. So what's your favorite, Chinese or Italian? I like, I, I like the Chinese. The Chinese are great. I could eat them all day long. They're so good. Anything you want to add? Yeah, Petty's Market on Belmont Street. We've been there going on 106 years right down at 216 Belmont Street. Uh, you can get sausages down there anytime. And up at White Rose Pantry, up on uh, where 138 and Turnpike Street intersect, the fork in the road, you can get them up there. And you can get them, you can get them also at the Deep Pasquale Sausage Company on Watertown Street in Newton. Again, the great thing about being at this event and being short is you can sneak up on people. And we're about to do that right now. Dana, how you doing? I am doing really, really well. This is a unique interview because we actually have our backs turned. Oh, we do? Wait, wait, I gotta fix my hair. Oh, that's much better, that's much better. How do I look? Uh, your hair looks great. <laughs> we're always on fire. Oh, there we go, there's, the, there's the camera. Now, Shana, yeah. you're everywhere still. Yeah, a little bit. What do you think of what do you think about the state of the taste of Metro South? Oh, listen, okay. If I were giving a State of the Union address about the taste of Metro South, I would say that the Constitution is strong within within the taste of Metro South. I'm on my second pass of food items, and I plan to go for a third, and then maybe. Three and a half to a four because the selections in here they're different this year the vendors have actually i think they really brought out their a game this year they're, they're, they have different kinds of food selections and um they're all so unique you just can't choose you cannot choose and these plates that 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 we're getting as we come into the door the reusable plates so handy 
so handy. So, yes, the, the, the state of um, the Taste of Metro South is strong. Finally, you're a fashion, you're a fashion, oh. mm, I don't know, I, I can't think of a word, I have to come up, it, it's, it's shaned. <laughs> like, it, when you look good, you are shaned. Now, okay. I, I need an honest opinion on the tie and see how quick you can guess oh, my tie. Oh, all right. Now, okay. <laughs> I got the last one last time. There's something about a fish taco. Bingo! We got bingo! We got bingo! Something about a fish taco. You knew it all along, didn't you? But no, I don't know. Are those, are those, is that lime? Are those like spices? Is that what's happening with the fish taco? Like, I know he's a fish taco. That is not in question. Maybe. See, it could be a lime. It is a lime. He tore a little lime. See, yeah, see. Wait a minute. What can you do with the? All right, come on. Just show me the hair. I'm fascinated. What? Ever since I shaved my head, I'm fascinated with hair. Now, oh, well, it's a mess. Can you make a? Can you make a mustache? Oh yeah. Let's see. And a beard. Oh man. There we are. <laughs> There's a mustache. All right. Can we go for the beard? Oh, <laughs> she did it again. Do you know the song Daisy? Daisy, Daisy. I don't know yeah. the words. Oh. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage. But you look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Thank you. Silver Fox, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, what table do you like today? I, I, I've been a few of them. Leandro's yeah. down here. Yeah, Chris Chriso's my favorite, you know. Yeah. yeah. I worked there when I was a kid. Oh, know, did you? I, no I, kid. I did. I really right. did. I, I worked really in the did, restaurant so. business. So I was terrible at it. Well, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, after a year, I tell them, yeah, you know what? I'm new at this, and like, Jay, you served us last week, and you, you sucked last week, too. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. well. We're not, but, uh, we're not recording. We're not recording. I thought we were good. recording there for a second. So good. Good. All right. So yeah, right. well, I was getting this. I was getting this cup filled up, Richard. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know. And uh, oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're here at the Simpson Springs table because if you know anything about anything, it's that you wash down a deli sandwich with some root beer or some cream soda, and this is the perfect place to get it. But you have other options as well. Tell us what you got. We do. So we have a variety of flavors. We have 11 different soda flavors, all hand mixed, made with real spring water, real sugar. And for example, the ginger ale, we use real ginger. Orange soda, we use real orange juice. So we use the most natural ingredients when possible to make our soda. So one thing that I had never heard of before finding out about Simpson Springs was birch beer. What is that? That's my favorite. Um, do you know like the taste of birch bark from birch tree? That's that's what the that's what you get. So it's to me it kind of tastes like a mix between cream soda and root beer. So this is what I tell people. It's a smoother root beer with like a wintergreen aftertaste. That that pretty much nails it. So birch beer is your favorite. What's your second favorite? Cream soda or raspberry lime ricky, I think. Just because the raspberry lime ricky is like the newest flavor we have. So you guys are back up and running. I heard it was a, an interesting few months with the bottling machine, but you're full steam ahead. Yeah, we got everything right now, and we actually sold out a lemon-lime soda, so I wasn't able to bring it. So you have everything except lemon-lime soda, which, which is actually green. Have you tried this before? I have. I have. That is my personal favorite. Have you, have you not tried any of these? Uh, there's a few I don't think I've tried. I think we should try a new one. Well, hi him. Just like Grandma always told me. Just like Bubby always told me. I don't think I've tried the ginger ale. Dude, the ginger ale is really good. We, we use real Jamaican ginger in it. It's pretty legit. Coming up, Nick Montero's coming up on acoustic guitar, and you'll be joining us in just a moment. It's kind of strong. Lachaim. Lachaim. Wow, that packs a punch. Yeah, it's strong, isn't it? Isn't it? And three towns over said no. I'm with them. I'm, I'm with East Bridgewater, West Bridgewater. You cannot learn how to drive a car with marijuana, marijuana in, your, in, your in your body. Matt, this is your belly. 
please stop, please stop, please, would you? Wow, what a night, need some fresh air, Leah have it Brockton, another one North man in the books, another Taste of Metro South, the 26th annual in the books, thanks for watching, we hope you are either hungry or stuffed. To learn more about BCA, visit our website at bcatv.org. And you can also check out our YouTube page, youtube.com backslash the Brockton Channels on one word. For everyone at One North Main, including our producer Aaron Tebow and our executive producer Mark Lindy, I'm Jay Miller. And if you see the Mad Dog anywhere, oh, there he is. Mad Dog, Mad Dog, Mad Dog. Just one more bite, brother. One more. For Mad Dog Matt Nelson and the rest of the crew at One North Main, I'm Jay Miller. And we'll see you around town. Matt, this is your belly. Please stop. Matt, please stop. Please, would you?